Hey, welcome, race fans. Glad you could join me today. Um, I am uh, sitting here waiting for the practice session to end. Um, we are, of course, in PCA Sim Racing Series 5, Race 8 in the PCA Sport class. And we are this week in the finale of the series at Daytona International Speedway, doing the road course, not the NASCAR road course that's got death and destruction waiting for you, but the normal old road course. Um, got some exciting stuff going on right now. There are 32 cars that have joined the session uh, and are doing warm-ups and practice laps, and uh, we expect probably there'll be some more before we start. So. Typically, we get anywhere from 33 to 40 cars on track uh, for our starts, and we don't anticipate this being any different this week. Um, of course, the big excitement this week is that we have Jensen Benet and Earl Arts Jr. fighting for the championship with Mark, six points Mark. between them. Very exciting night indeed. Um, all of us are kind of uh, really excited to see how it turns out and hoping, praying that none of us get in the way and cause anything that would impact the championship other than letting them just drive their race and uh, see who comes out the better man at the end. So uh, that is really the watchword for the night is to stay out of trouble, stay out of the way, and uh, make sure we don't impact the the, uh, the lead of the race in any negative way. Um, I've been practicing all week. Um, this track is kind of a, a double thing for me. I both love and hate it. Um, I love it, of course, because it's Daytona. Um, and the Daytona 24-hour race is one of my favorite races because it occurs every year on my birthday or on or around my birthday. And so really, really enjoy that and uh, have, a, have a good time watching cars, fast cars, and good drivers on this track. Uh, being able to drive... Leon Simon just won the challenge race. I think he won the championship with it. Cool. Congrats. Cool. Congrats to the Benai... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, congrats to Eon. So, yeah, looking forward to this race. Being able to drive it in person in a simulation, even, is pretty amazing. Here, we both kind of screwed up the bus stop. I am always screwing up the bus stop. <laughs> so, uh, we. Well, are... at least most of my time. Yeah, it's frustrating. We're an hour and three minutes into. Wish we could just go straight. Our practice. Josh, I'll give you the inside. Hold on. And the practice. You can, but it'll cost you a lot of time. Go ahead, Antonio. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. The, the practice is set at two hours and ten minutes, although we've been told it might run a little long simply because, well, it won't go, long, go two, two hours, but usually by now we're qualifying. We're told it's running a little long because they're going to do the session where they talk to all the winners of the challenge race that's just now concluding, as you heard. And um, they want to talk to also the championship winners as well. Uh, so that may take a little bit longer. And uh, ePodium is uh, doing this uh, in chunks. So the challenge race is all one file that gets uploaded to YouTube and all the others. Um, and then they'll do the sport class after that. So they can't join our session until they conclude with the challenge run and doing all the interviews. So we've been told it'll be a little bit later um, than the normal start time. And just hang in and be ready. And that race control will be given right, us some, some information as we get Thanks. closer. As always, this PCA group, um, very uh, uh, congenial around track, uh, giving each other room um, and making sure that we race like gentlemen. Um, we'll see. Um, it usually lasts through the race, but lap one is always exciting, and especially here at Daytona, a treacherous turn one usually stuffs everybody up, and uh, it was no different in Prelude this week if you watched that. Um, lap one, we all went into it, and uh, the I think the front two cars <laughs> spun um, as they were making their exit out of turn one. And, of course, that created mayhem for everybody behind them. And uh, we, we had quite an adventure. Um, I did not make it through unscathed. Um, and uh, then, of course, I have this uh, propensity for overdriving the car. And at Daytona, because it's a flat track on the infield, it does not take well to overdriving. Um, and uh, I wound up skidding out of control and uh, had some damage to my car after hitting the wall twice. Um so I'm hoping to not do that in the main race here. I'm hoping to keep it relatively clean. I'm just going to go out there, drive my race. I'm not going to be worrying about uh, uh, being super fast. If somebody's faster than me behind me, I'm going to let them on by. And just try to keep a clean race going and uh, see if, uh, through attrition, I can make up some ground. I'm watching you too much, George. 
sorry about that. Okay. Now I say that now, and then in the heat of the Trying battle, to figure out how I can have it floored and you're still catching on me. Yeah, because I, because I'm right behind you there. I guess. <laughs> uh, the draft works. This is a draft track, so out on the uh, the big NASCAR portion of the track, uh, it can get fast. And I came out of the turn a little quicker. <laughs> Exit speed matters. Um, so yeah, I say that now. Uh, maybe a difficult story once we get into the race. Heat of the battle. I you think lose qualifying may be a little bit later. I think they were having some server issues. So it may be that we're going to qualify five or ten minutes later than normal, which means the race will start five or ten minutes later than normal. Apparently the... Uh, the podium eSport crew had to uh, switch servers instead of staying on the same one, which takes them a while. It's not exactly the right story, but it's close but enough. But be ready to qualify because I may be wrong. <laughs> so I'm not going to go back out before qualifying. Um, I've done my, my laps, uh, just so we get a, a good feel, uh, Daytona is three and a half miles, 3.56 miles long, 11 turns in this configuration. Um, and it's a fun, fast track. Um, people were turning 152s actually tonight. We have Chris Duffy did in practice, uh, did a 152. Um, and I think Jensen Benet is probably in the 152s or low 153s. Um, my laps, I did 15 laps in practice and got down around where... I'm down around my lowest, my fastest time uh, in practice. The guy this ahead has just done a 156.00, um, which is a 156491. Um, so right around there is probably my fastest time. And of course, uh, I was pretty consistent. Didn't have any incidents in the practice sessions, so I kept it on the track, kept it out of the wall, um, and was fairly consistent. Which is actually what I'm looking for at this point. Is uh, I'm not going to be the fastest guy on track, but if I can dial in my consistency, um, I may be able to, to leverage that to my advantage um, later on in the race. So that's that's my strategy. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, results, as I said, uh, we have some people, uh, Chris Duffy down here in 152, Jensen Benet 152, uh, Earl and Julian are down in the low 153s. So we got some fast people up at the front. Um, that are going to make it an entertaining race uh, for the e-podium broadcast. If you're wanting to watch that instead of me, I don't oh, take that personally. Che Antonio, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, <I'm>, um, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm way down here. I'm about uh, four and some change uh, off the, the the front pace, but I'm in good company. Um, I've got uh, Jeff reasonably close as usual. Um, Sam, Will, Brandon. Um, and even Nicholas down here, we're, we're, we're in the same ballpark. Robert is always pretty fast. He usually winds up uh, making a run and passing me at some point. And Ryan McGee is much faster than this practice time would dictate. I wouldn't be at all surprised if he qualifies much better, much higher in the order. He's usually a true uh, upper mid-pack runner um, and can easily finish in the top 15 in, in most of our races, if I'm not mistaken. So... Um, the fact that he's sitting back there, he may be just playing coy and uh, waiting to, to drop the hammer uh, come qualify time. Or he may want to wait and see what the race is going to unfold like and uh, eat us up from the back uh, as we go along. I don't know. But uh, but he is usually pretty fast. So um, I don't don't take anybody behind me for granted at all. And, of course, there are only four people behind me in practice. So <laughs> I don't take anybody for granted at this point. Good evening, gentlemen. We're running a little bit uh, behind tonight due to uh, championship interviews and awards and such. So uh, just keep practicing, and I'll advance to qualifying when the broadcast is right. <coughs> Confirmation from DJ, our race control steward, or primary race control steward. Of course, Doug is also um, a steward for our series most nights, so he's probably on as well. And they just gave me the green light, so we're heading there now. Awesome. So we are going to go into uh, qualifying. They're all like, finally, he's going to stop talking and start driving. I understand. That's the end of the session, B28. All righty. Double check your car setup. Let's get Watch it done. your speed. I'm no Barry Rollins, but let's get to it. 
Those of you who watched some recent garage. Headline speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Okay, Chip, we've got three laps to set a decent time. Nice and easy. Gotta respect the cold tires. That'll stick a lot better a little bit later. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Little tentative on the gas pedal there. But this track is so scary. <laughs> Unwind, give it gas, go to town. Slow down a little too much there. That's okay. Remember, you can chat with me if you like. Actually, I like to overthrottle in the bus stop coming out of it, and I wind up spinning and smacking the wall quite a lot. So that could be entertaining later. B-16. Should be on the throttle a lot harder, a lot sooner there. Beep. Beep. 
B-24. That felt smooth and slow. <laughs> uh, yeah. smooth and smooth as fast, except when it's me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's funny. So where do I sit? Where do I sit? Where do I sit? So I am 28th out of 32 currently sitting with a 156.76 is my fastest time. And, uh, like Jeff qualified 23rd, uh, 155.69. Wow, that's nice. So, yeah, see how that goes. Here are the, the grid qualifying times. So, there we go. So about what I expected, if I'm honest. I, I practiced, uh, my practice time is a little bit better. So let's see, would it have changed much? No, I would have qualified one up from where uh, I am. So I'd qualify 27th if I had pulled out my uh, my practice time in, uh, in quali. So that's okay. At least I'm consistent. Remember, I said that was my key. So we'll see if I can stick to that. Although, if you look uh, up and down the order, you've got an awful lot of guys that are pretty consistent where they're running, too. So, um, it may amount to absolutely nothing of value. Just so... That's the end of the session, B-28. So, I'm clear on my ambitions. I would like to finish 25th or higher. Um, Double just check your car set up. For some consistency. Good evening, with, gentlemen. 
Welcome to uh, the final week of the season for the sport class. You know, we got a nice little battle going on in points here. After the race is over, if you guys uh, could remain in the server until you're called to Discord for the podium and the Drive to Excellence Award, um, we will uh, be announcing that after the race is over. I do apologize about the late start. A couple things to note here. Um, please, again, as always, be watching for the orange zone contact uh, on the first lap. We had a bunch of them in challenge, and um, hopefully we can do a little better here, just be easy going through, especially the first turn. Uh, second of all, I know that you guys have seen the text going around, but want to cover the pit road again. Um, the pit road here is very treacherous when you are coming off of it, so we want to make sure that you know that the person that is coming off of the pits has the right of way until the end of the blend line. If you are coming out of the pits and there are cars coming behind you, do not stop. Keep rolling. It is the car's responsibility on the track um, to let you blend in safely. So you do have the right of way. So just be careful with that. And as always, good luck and have fun. I have a question. So the blend line, I know it's sort of like three dots that are kind of like separated from the blend line. Do those three small lines count? as part of the blend line or not? Correct. So that's just basically a countdown until the end of the blend line. Uh, we will use all of the solid line and the dash line. 28, uh, 40 the, minutes. Um, excuse me, that will be the blend line. So yes, all of them. Thank you. Earl, best of luck to you. This is Hello, car you. number 22 in the left column. Good luck, guys. Thank you, too, Benson. Thank you, too, Jensen. Fun, everyone. Good luck. Thanks, DJ, for all your help all season. Absolutely. It's been an honor and a privilege to be here with you guys, and uh, hopefully we're back again uh, next season. DJ. Yes, sir. Catch up to car number 22. Okay, Chip, here we go. Green, green, green. There's an incident in International Horseshoe, yellow flag. Wow, man. Incident in Turn 4. Good job, Jeff. Thanks, man. Metal Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. These are my peeps up here, Jeff and Rusty.
go high, ball if you want, go high, high man. Got a better exit out of uh, that than I did. It's okay. I'm not chasing, I'm just driving. Got Robert behind me here. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. out of the bus stop this time. It was a little faster than Rusty. That last time. May not be this time. Quit! And I wasn't that time. Or he was faster, just in general. I, I really didn't think I got you. Oh, there goes the championship for me. Bounce off the apron. There's an incident in turn one, yellow flag, watch out. George, for the rule book, um, any type of uh, profane language uh, will be uh, documented and results in a disqualification. Second offense will result in removal from PCA sim racing. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. No, sir, you said more than that. Uh, we can discuss it after if you want. Race control, can you look at the incident between me and car 924? Stand by, Jensen. Rolling in the top 20, I've not been able to say that all season. Sorry guys. tell you about Robert Walton, man. He's hanging right in there with me. Yellow flag. 
looks really funny in the prelude. OK, Chip, we think our refueling window will open after 21 minutes. Should close at about 31 minutes. In prelude, every time I hit that turn, I got a yellow flag warning. And finally, I, I stopped believing Jim. and <laughs> didn't believe that it was a yellow flag. And then one actually happened. There was a car that was turned around there. I was like, oh, whoa. So, can't be complacent. There's an incident in a bus stop. We think it might be Yerksa. Yellow flag, caution. Oh, that was all me. Okay, cool, sorry, man. Thank you. P18. No problem. There's an incident in turn six. Okay, so can you just look at the crash between 80? Yellow flag, watch out. God damn it. Yes, yeah, stand by. We're currently looking at another one right now. We'll get to yours here in a sec. Bad luck, Chip. Come on, don't let him get away. got turned around blocking the track who felt the need to speed up instead of like slowing down a little bit and then the steam train that hit me from behind as a result I'm a little pissed right now looks like the leader's been there in turn one need to chill and watch it out Because if I don't, I'm gonna fucking go shit face here. Something this series has never seen is me angry.
need to calm down. It's still really, let's let it go. B-19. By the way, you can chat with me if you're watching the stream. Um, chat feature in YouTube, Twitch, and in uh, Facebook will actually reach me. I'll see it on screen, be able to read it. Okay, Chip, ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line, nail those exits. That's the way Daddy likes it. Fine. Let's get back in this thing. Stop scrubbing speed off the freaking turns. That'd be a good start. B-18. Nicholas is putting on a little pressure. Just flash me? Dude, we're driving for position. I'm not moving over for you. If you can take me, you take me. Otherwise, shut the hell up! Bridge control, have you been looking into it? Jensen, it's under review. Looks like net code. Uh, we're still looking at it. Got it. Sorry if I scared you, Jeff. I, um, uh, I didn't take you to Bridge earlier. You've used half your uh, fuel. I was a bit of a surprise, but thanks for keeping it clean. No problem. Incident in turn one. It looks like it's Williams. Oh no. All right, after reviewing that incident between uh, Duffy and Benet, uh, the 924 did come up, but uh, per the iRacing uh, replay system, there was at least a foot of space in between that, so it has to be ruled a netcode incident, and there will be no penalty. 
Carl, I got black flagged, I apologize. Kristen Earl, my right, my right. Yeah, incident on uh, car 80 has been reviewed and driver has been penalized. faster than me on the second half of that infield, which is good to know. Thank you, Antonio. Nice move, Sebastian. Nice move. That was great. I love racing. All right, Chip. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Stuart, when you catch up, I'll let you buy. My car's damaged. No straight line speed. Brian, I'm heading in ahead of you. Thank you. I'll breathe after I get on the oval, Stuart, and let you by. Yeah, you're on the left. Thank you. Right. Come on by, everybody. I got no, no car. <laughs> No straight line speed, damaged car. Incident in turn six, it looks like Walton. Come on, Oregon. I'll breathe, go ahead, Oregon. Thank you. Andres, go ahead. The guy behind is really new in. The gap's now zero point zero six. Hitting in. Watch your speed. 
Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit Seven, is 55 six, miles per hour. Five, okay, four, Jip, we'll fill three, you to the end of the race. Two, one, stop. Stay low, Arnie, stay low. Watch your speed. Will do. 300 feet. 100 feet. Go. It takes it's clear. Don't cross the white line. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 8.2. 20 second place. Wonder how much of my uh, creeping up towards uh, 15 was people pitting early. We'll find out here shortly. Nice move, Ben. The car ahead's pitting. Twenty first. The leader's pitting now. Okay, Chip, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Bob and Pam, I'm going to breathe and go race. high. Go low. Wow, Jensen is just ahead of me. The gap behind is now 9.3. Betting he is really upset, as he should be. It's no fun uh, having something taken away from you. I don't see Earl up in the top five either, so I'm not sure what that means. If anybody's tracking the other stream while you're watching mine, if you can let me know There's where Earl is. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. I'm just curious. Twentieth place. Sector three is zero point two five off the pace. Carl. The leader, Samson, is pitting.
Yo, Sebastiano. Thank All you. Right. Okay, Chip, you're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 1.7. Fast. So I don't care what Jim says, I don't think I'm making up much ground here. There's an incident in turn one, eighteenth. Hello, okay. Right. Hey, right, Gary. Thank you, sir. I'm going high, so let's down. I'm going up. Stay low. Thanks, sir. Walk well. Julian, go low. Thank you. Thank you. Take the inside of him. The inside, the inside. The gap in front is now 1.0. Take the inside, Bob. Thank you. It's getting away from me again. track there on the right side, kind of a little too close.
10, I'll breathe for you. Go underneath me. Thanks, Jeff. Why to go to fifth? That was dumb. Thanks, Antonio. Chase and Carl, I need to stop that, man. There's an incident in. Turn seven. I feel like I'm gaining ground and I start, like, missing my marks and focusing on him instead of what I should be doing. That will not end well if I don't stop it. The gap in front is now 1.6 seconds. Go ahead, man. Smell barbecue. Thank you. That's better. Come on, we're upside down. The tricking is up in your way. Antonio, what happened? You run out of fuel? Thanks, Nicholas. I don't know, my wheel up is upside down, I can drive. You have a hole in your system? I have to give it up. Sorry, that's not bad. Yeah, Race control, what did you want me to do? Stand on the brakes and wait for him to get out okay, of the way? Okay, Chip. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Car 91, per the rulebook, it's responsibility of the overtaking car to initiate, initiate the pass cleanly, so I have to penalize for that. But there's no... Thank you, inside, Gary. Thank you. Just gotta get a toe up here. Come on, Ronald, take the apex. My car's damaged, I got no top speed. P18. Race control. For my sake, when he breaks in front of me, he doesn't know which way to go. That should not be a penalty. Greg, I, under, I, under, I understand what you're saying, um, but uh, it's the same penalty that we've been calling all year. Uh, if you want to, you can file an incident review after the race. P17. DJ, just find him. The gap ahead is now 3.8.
Unless Carl makes a mistake, I think that that spot's pretty much his. And that's okay. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Just have to let go of the fact that he's the one that cost me four positions <laughs> because of his accident and coming back on the track a little unsafely, but life's like that. Earl, have you seen the white flag yet? No, we have not. But there's Earl. Right on. I think Jensen is an amazing talent, and I uh, am a big white fan. Flag. But uh, Earl came up and joined the... Uh, relief. Western server prelude this week. So, you know, anytime you're on track with somebody and kind of uh, letting your hair down and talking hey, to them, you got to automatically start rooting for a guy like that. So, I feel bad for Jensen and the way it happened, but I'm also very happy for Earl. Go inside, Paul. You notice as I started talking, I started I mean, trying to I have enough fuel to make it, so no, no sense holding. Started driving like an Uber driver the second I started chatting, so I'm going to stop chatting, try to finish the race here. Okay, Chip, five minutes of fuel remaining, five minutes. White flag, one lap to go. White flag, one more lap. Andrews, I made a super mistake then. My bad, I missed my break point. Oh no, you've been pissing me the whole time. You're so. running out of fuel. Hey, fun racing with you tonight, bud. Yeah, that was a little hunt. Good race, Chris. There's a nice photo finish there. Um, everybody just stand by until we get the results for the top three. Yeah, I don't think I did. Great job. Looks Julian like the leader has gone off in turn six. Great racing, man. Great racing. Always does. Samson is really new in. The right, gap's now 0.14. Yeah, I got you, Just man. two minutes I'm sorry. left. Two minutes to go. How did you do that, man? That risky inside line. Are you allowed to go over the yellow line? As far as I know, yeah. Always That's disappointing, but you have Then again, keep pushing. sorry guys, I thought you knew the race was over. Oh my god, I don't believe it. If he did this stuff, nice racing here. Amazing racing, though. Amazing racing, everyone. One gallon remaining. Fantastic. It's a big pile up in turn time. one. It's even. Thanks for a great season, everybody. Could be 18. Well done, mate. Good yeah, finish. I am so sorry for you making me laugh. I can't apologize enough. I don't know what happened. Thank you. 
and I coasted through the finish line. <laughs> Did you run out of fuel, Paul? Can't believe that. Uh... Chris, this is one of the race. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and wait in the waiting room, and uh, we'll be calling second and third place and uh, the awards uh, here shortly. Can't believe Samson dive-bombed me like that going into the bus stop. I mean, I knew he was behind me, but I had no idea he was going to try to take to my inside, and that was really my turn in. I was there. That was pretty shitty racing, if you ask me. But I'm going to review the tape before I get all pissed off about it. But that just... That almost killed us both. Almost killed us both. I know he's a better driver than me and all, but that was, that was pretty shitty. Watch your speed. All for one position. Watch your speed limit in the pits. All right, I need... Good box in, 12, so 190 feet. Jensen Benet, Chris Duffy, to the interview waiting, interview waiting room, please, on Discord. First place in the championship, Earl Arch Jr., congratulations. Second place, Jensen Benet, congratulations. Third place, Chris Duffy, congratulations. Yay. Right on. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the race. Um, all things uh, being equal, that was a tremendous experience. A lot of fun. I love Daytona Road. I love competing on that track. And then, of course, love competing with the PCA Sim Racing Group. Um, a lot of fun um, all the way around. Um, it's been kind of nice to see all the uh, the notes of camaraderie and uh, congratulations at the end of the season. I um, want to lend mine in uh, here and codify them in the video for permanent uh, record. Um, Earl Arts Jr., congratulations, man, on the great season, great win, uh, well-deserved. Jensen Benet, man, tough luck, but, man, it'll be a, a good opportunity for you to uh, come back strong and crush it again uh, um, either in PCA Sport, which I doubt seriously, or in whatever uh, series you wind up uh, competing in. Um, great talent uh, and tremendous job this season. Uh, just uh, having a good time racing and having fun. Um, definitely want to con uh, congratulate Chris Duffy on the win for tonight. Um, great win, great drive. Um, a little bit of unfortunate controversy there at the early on part with Jensen and that spin. Um, but it was reviewed. Um, stewards looked at it. It looked like a net code thing. It was, uh, um, there was still space between the cars, and for whatever reason, the system thought that they touched, and uh, um, Jens uh, Jensen got a little bit of a bump and wound up spinning, and that's unfortunate. It happens, though, um, and it was a racing incident, so um, we'll call it all good. As far as my own performance, um, man, I had a great race. Um, I actually... Uh, I said when, when we started that uh, I wanted to keep my nose clean, keep myself out of trouble, and uh, finish well. And really would have been happy finishing anywhere above uh, 25, 25 or, or better. Um, to come away with 18th after starting uh, 28th is, is pretty cool. But again, it was just consistency um, and, and uh, making sure I didn't overdrive the car. Um, even in where there were situations where I got a little upset and could very well have started chasing and uh, put myself in a bad situation, I managed to keep my head and uh, stayed the course. And it paid off. And that, that's pretty cool. Um, wound up with five incident points. Um, I actually um, got a quick note from Peter who apologized for tapping me in the back. And that was just an unfortunate set of circumstances. I think Carl had gotten turned around. Um, by someone else and in his frustration to kind of recollect himself and get back up with the, the crowd he was racing with he he lost his head for a moment and crossed the stream of traffic and pulled out right in front of me and I had no recourse but to hit my brakes and of course Peter was behind me he was already on the ABS and just so four incident points that really weren't anybody's true fault it was just a racing thing and then one other racing incident uh um, it, it was just a, a slight wheel off in the bus stop um, on, on one of the laps. So five incident points. 
that's pretty clean. Um, that's good. I'll definitely take that. I, I wish that I didn't have the four um, that were no fault of my own, but at, at the same time, um, uh, those things happen and you just sort of shrug them off and, and move on. Um, at least unlike in uh, traditional iRacing and league racing, incident points don't count against your safety rating. So I don't have that hanging over my head. It happened in the race. Didn't have any ill consequence, so I can just let it go. Anyway, this has been a tremendous experience, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to actually seeing how the points actually round up and where I finish. Um, when I last looked, I was 29th out of 55 listed competitors. Of course, uh, as you've seen, we've had anywhere from 33 to 43, um, give or take, um, in any of the races. Um, I think uh, Laguna Seca may have been our biggest turnout at 43. Anyway, um, a lot of people competed and, and didn't do all the races. Um, I was stubborn. Uh, I actually, <laughs> I, I found more often than not a showing up can have a dramatic effect on your overall season. So um, pretty proud that I was able to compete in all eight races. Um, and um, I, I think that, that that should should pay some dividends, especially here, um, getting a pretty decent finish in the finale. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching my videos, because obviously if you've reached it this far in the video, then you've uh, you've been paying attention and uh, been following along, and I really do appreciate it. Um, it's nice to know that you're not talking to yourself. Um, I hope that in some way my videos are useful to others, um, either to uh, learn what not to do, <laughs> or more importantly, uh, I, I like um, to think that my attitude and... Um, uh, excitement about what I'm doing, even though I'm not doing it very well yet, is contagious. Um, and if it is contagious, man, don't fight the bug, just eat it up and, and join us. Um, it doesn't cost that much to get involved in sim racing. And if you have any questions about that, um, definitely let me know. Um, we are a merry band of, uh, of people that really love sports cars, sports car racing. Um, some of us are technologists, but actually a very, very few of us are. Um, there are a great number of people here that are um, pretty pretty novice, pretty basic in their computer skill set. And uh, they're able to, with the help of others, um, get in and have a great time. So um, if you're, you're teetering on the edge, you think this looks interesting, you think you might be interested in participating, but you're a little apprehensive because you're not sure what's involved, hit me up anytime. Um, reach out to me in the comments of this video. Um, or um, if you're, you're already in the PCA, you know how to reach me um, uh, via the Redwood region and Zone 7. And uh, I'll happily um, spend some time with you, answer your questions, and get you to a point where you're comfortable in at least making a decision as to whether or not this might be for you. Have a great night, great day, great evening, day, morning, weekend, whatever, wherever it is. <laughs> whatever it is where you are and you're watching. Um, have a great one, and uh, thanks very much. Take care. Bye. It would be absolutely unfair to just squeak off without thanking the people that make my racing possible. I want to first thank Nicole and Mackenzie for supporting me. Home is where the heart is, and uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have their support. They let me come in here, close my door, and uh, do my own thing uh, without disturbance, which is always nice, and dinner's always ready for me at the end of a race. Can't beat that. Also want to thank the folks at SpyCloud, always uh, very supportive. In fact, uh, they, uh, they some of them watched uh, the stream tonight, which was kind of exciting. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate your support. PCA Sim Racing and the Steering Committee, all the race participants, everyone involved, top-notch organization and a lot of fun. Really, really can't say how much fun a good league is in iRacing. If you've ever participated in iRacing before, you know that uh, sometimes the racing isn't always great. Uh, you get some uh, bad behavior on track and all sorts of other sort of shenanigans and you know, we have our problems. It's like a, a family, right? We we have a little, uh, um, uh, little bit of elbowing, a little bit of shoving now and again, but all in all, great group of guys and we're committed to working it out and racing clean, racing like gentlemen. So uh, a great organization. So PCA Sim Racing, if you're a PCA member and you aren't sim racing, you want to look into it. Definitely do that because it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's not quite the real thing, but it's uh, it's a pretty good uh, good simulation. I want to thank Tam Livery. The design on my car is a design by Tam Livery. Um, contracted work um, and uh, did the work in uh, about a week. Um, great turnaround. He has a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com. Look for Tam Livery. 
And then of course, uh, the Redwood region of the Porsche Club of America and Zone 7. Thank you very much for letting me fly your colors. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye.